you should do a trial assembly and assemble the strike side and then disassemble that assemble the time side and disassemble that and look at what's going on in your gears here we have the strike side assembled and we're going to examine the wear and the gears and, and what's going on um, before we uh, do the other side, the time side, and then before finally we do the whole movement. First let's examine the pivot holes because we're going to examine those to see if there's any wear. And if we look at this top hole here, you can see this one here. As the wheels move, it spins very freely, very nicely, and the pivot in its pivot hole. No problem whatsoever. If we look at some of these other pivot holes, I take a look at this one over here. Now as the wheel turns, that pivot rocks back and forth. And the reason why it's rocking back and forth is because it's worn a path down that direction, see? And what happens is that the wheel that was previously standing straight up is now tilting and your time train or your strike train becomes out of alignment and that affects the ability of your movement to keep proper time and operate properly so this is an area that we we're going to need to rebush re in order to re repair that particular problem there let me show you on some diagrams on how we do that before we actually go through a demonstration of rebushing this movement first of all we have the pivot in a normal pivot hole this being the pivot inside, the pivot hole on the outside. Uh, typically, I've read and heard that the distance, the optimal distance, is two thousandths of an inch in, the, in between the pivot holes. Now we have a between the pivot hole and the, and the movement plate. Now we have a diagram of our two wheels. Here's our larger first wheel here, and here's our second wheel that it's driving here. And our wheels, a large wheel, is driving in a clockwise motion, which in turn drives the second wheel in a counterclockwise motion. So the number one driving gear drives the second driven gear. Now, in order to determine the direction of the wear, or how the wear is uh, occurring in that pivot hole, first draw a line through the centers of both gears and then draw a line perpendicular to the, to the gear um, pivot in question because the pressure is exerted at right angles to this line. Also you'll note that the wear is always the direction that the driving gear is turning. See this is our driving gear is turning this, this direction so our wear is to the right. So what happens is that the pivot grinds into the movement plate uh, with the aid of dirt and grime that, that it picks up through the years wearing to the right and, and increasing the center point of the original location to the right so what we have to do is reestablish the new center of the pivot hole here in red you can see where this was the original location now in black over here it's moved to the right so the center, the true center has changed. Represented in the, this, this blue line here is the new center because due to the wear and because as a result of the wear and we need to restore it back to the original center so that the movement will run true, the train, the train will run true. So what we need to do in order to do that since we have worn to the right we'll have to scoop out or cut to the left here to line everything back to center to reestablish the true center of the pivot hole. Then once we have done that then we will broach out the entire section and install a new bushing to restore it back to its original condition.